If you want to create a video, but you're not too sure where to start, well today I'm going to give you a quick crash course on how to use Clipchamp to easily create an engaging video. Once you've signed into Clipchamp and you're inside the editor, to get started you'll import the video you want to edit. Do this by clicking on the import media button, selecting the asset and then hitting open. It will load into your media library here. Now add the video into your timeline by either clicking on the green plus button or by dragging and dropping it straight in. If you need to trim your video to make the start or end shorter, click on the asset in your timeline. It will highlight in purple, meaning it's selected. Then either drag the front handle or the end handle, left or right, to trim away as much of the front or the end of the clip as you need. If you have trimmed the beginning of your clip, delete that gap that has been created by hovering over it and then hitting the trash can icon. To cut out a section of your video, drag the seeker to the starting point of the section you want to remove. Hit the split button, then drag the seeker to the ending point, hit split again, and then select that section in the middle. Hit delete on your keyboard, delete the gap, and then that part of your clip will now be cut and removed. Next, to resize, reposition, and crop your video, when the asset is selected, head up to the floating toolbar in the stage, and then to crop, Select the crop button, drag the corners to crop as much of the video as you want, then hit done. Click on the revert to original button to reset it back to its original size. To resize the video, just drag the corners of the asset in or out to make it bigger or smaller. Then move it around freely any way you'd like on the video preview. You can also drag the rotate button to rotate your video any way you'd like. To ensure that video does fill the whole frame, hit the fit or fill button. Now, if you have multiple clips, to add a transition between them, head into your timeline and then hover your cursor between two of the clips. Click on this plus button to add a preset transition. You can then edit that transition by navigating to the transitions tab of the property panel, scrolling through the transition options, clicking on the one you want to use, then just adjust the duration slider. This dictates how long that transition lasts. For example, the longer the duration, the slower the transition. Add more transitions throughout your video by following the same steps. To add text or a motion title onto your video, click on the text tab in the property panel, scroll through the options and hover over them for a preview. They will all have different animations, but for a text option with no animations, choose the plain text option. Drag the text you want to use into your timeline, placing it on top of your video. Then just trim, move and cut that text to place it where you want it to appear in your video. To edit your text, navigate over to the text tab in the property panel and then follow the prompts. For example, changing what the text reads, changing the font, the size and the color. For a more detailed tutorial on text editing, check out the link in the description of this video. Lastly, to add background music to your video, Navigate to the toolbar and click into the content library. The content library houses all of our stock music, videos, and images. And here you can also access stickers, shapes, backgrounds, borders, and more. For music, click the drop down arrow of the audio tab, select music, then either search for something specific in the search bar or access a content collection, which is categorized to make things easier. Hit the play button on the tracks for a preview of what they sound like. Then drag and drop the one that you want into the timeline, placing it below your other assets. Then if that audio is longer than your video, just split and trim it to match the length. Once you've completed all of your edits, you'll export your video by navigating over to the export button, selecting your video quality, and then once that's complete, a copy will automatically save to your device. If you'd like to save it directly to one of our integrations, you'll find them all here on the left of the export page. And that's the easiest way to get started with Clipchamp. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.